Welcome to our video on the exciting career of an avionics technician. In the world of aviation, avionics technicians play a crucial role in ensuring the safe and efficient operation of aircraft. These highly skilled professionals are responsible for maintaining and repairing the electronic systems that control and communicate with the aircraft, including navigation, communication, and flight control systems. A career as an avionics technician offers a unique blend of technical expertise and hands-on experience, making it a challenging and rewarding field for those with a passion for aviation. In this video, we will explore the duties and responsibilities of an avionics technician, the education and training required, and the opportunities for advancement in this dynamic field. So, sit back, relax, and learn more about the exciting career of an avionics technician. Before we begin, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more awesome content. Show us some love and we'll keep the good stuff coming. Avionics Technician Job Description Avionics technicians are responsible for maintaining and repairing the electronic systems that control and communicate with aircraft. The duties of an avionics technician include, 1. Inspecting, testing, and troubleshooting electronic systems and components, including navigation, communication, and flight control systems reading and interpreting schematics, wiring diagrams, and technical manuals, installing, modifying, and repairing electronic systems and components, conducting regular maintenance and performing system upgrades. 5. Coordinating with other members of the maintenance team to ensure efficient and safe operation of aircraft. 6. Keeping detailed records of maintenance and repair activities, staying current with new technologies and industry developments, adhering to all safety and regulatory guidelines, an avionics technician should have strong technical skills, attention to detail, and the ability to work independently. They should also have the ability to work well under pressure and to meet deadlines. A high school diploma or equivalent is typically required, and many employers prefer candidates with a degree in avionics or a related field and or relevant certifications. Avionics technicians typically work in a maintenance, repair and overhaul, a MRO, facility, an aircraft manufacturing company or at an airport. The role can also include working on-site with airlines. Avionics Technician Salaries The starting salary for an avionics technician can vary depending on factors such as location, employer, and level of education and experience. According to data from the Bureau of Labor Statistics BLS, the median annual wage for avionics technicians was $65,230 in May 2020. The lowest 10% earned less than $44,710, and the highest 10% earned more than $89,320. However, it's important to note that earning potential can be influenced by many factors, such as level of education, work experience, and certifications, as well as the specific employer and location. Avionics technicians who have completed advanced education or training, and have gained experience in the field may be able to command higher salaries. Additionally, avionics technicians who work for major airlines, aircraft manufacturers, and military agencies typically have higher earning potential than those who work for smaller companies or regional airlines. It's also worth noting that earning potential may also increase with the level of responsibility and the type of aircraft they are working on. For example, an avionics technician who specializes in working on commercial aircraft may have a higher earning potential than one who specializes in working on small private planes. A career as an avionics technician can be a financially rewarding one, with the potential for steady salary growth as you gain experience and take on more responsibility. Avionics Technician Typical Day A typical day for an avionics technician may involve a variety of tasks, depending on the specific employer and the stage of the maintenance or repair process. However, here is an example of what a typical day might look like for an avionics technician. 6 a.m. Arrive at the maintenance, repair, and overhaul, MRO, facility or airport and check in with the supervisor to review the day's schedule and priorities. 6.30 a.m. Begin working on a scheduled maintenance task, such as inspecting and testing navigation systems on a commercial airliner. This may involve using specialized test equipment, such as oscilloscopes and multimeters, to ensure that the systems are functioning properly and that all components are in good working condition. 9 a.m. Take a break and check in with the supervisor again to discuss any issues or concerns that have arisen. 9.30 am, continue working on the maintenance task and make any necessary repairs or replacements. This may involve using hand tools, such as soldering irons and wire crimpers, to make connections and install new components. 12 pm, take a lunch break. 1 pm, begin working on a repair task, such as troubleshooting and repairing a communication system on a private plane. This may involve using schematics, wiring diagrams, and technical manuals to identify the root cause of the problem and determine the best course of action. 
4 p.m. Complete the repair task and document all work done in the aircraft logbook. 4.30 p.m. Review the work done with the supervisor, discuss any pending tasks and plan for the next day. 5 p.m. Clocking out, after a long day of working on aircraft. It's worth noting that this is just an example and a typical day of an avionics technician may vary depending on the specific employer, location, and the stage of the maintenance or repair process. However, avionics technicians may also have to be on call or work overtime, especially if there is an urgent repair needed. Additionally, the avionics technician may also have to work on different types of aircraft, which can add more variety to their workday. Avionics Technician Career Prospects A career as an avionics technician can offer a variety of opportunities for growth and advancement. Here are a few potential career paths for avionics technicians. Supervisor or Team Leader As avionics technicians gain experience and demonstrate a high level of skill and leadership ability, they may be promoted to a supervisory or team leader role. In these roles, they will be responsible for managing a team of technicians and overseeing the maintenance and repair of electronic systems. Specialization As an avionics technician gains experience, they may choose to specialize in a specific area of avionics, such as navigation systems or flight control systems. Specialization can lead to higher earning potential and increased opportunities for advancement. Further education and certifications Avionics technicians who pursue further education and certifications in avionics or a related field can increase their knowledge and skills and become more attractive candidates for advancement and higher paying positions. Working in different settings Avionics technicians can work in different settings such as aircraft manufacturers, airlines, military agencies, and maintenance, repair, and overhaul MRO, facilities. Each setting offers different opportunities for advancement and career growth. Starting their own business, experienced and skilled avionics technicians may decide to start their own business, providing maintenance and repair services to aircraft owners and operators. A career as an avionics technician can be a dynamic and rewarding one, with opportunities for growth and advancement for those who are willing to work hard, stay current with new technologies, and continuously improve their skills. Pros and Cons of Being an Avionics Technician being an avionics technician can be a challenging and rewarding career, but like any job, it also has its own set of pros and cons. Here are a few of the main pros and cons of being an avionics technician. Pros 1. Hands-on work Avionics technicians get to work with their hands, troubleshoot and repair complex electronic systems, and see the results of their work firsthand. 2. Variety of work the field of avionics is constantly evolving, and avionics technicians have the opportunity to work on a variety of aircraft and systems, which can make their job more interesting. 3. Career Growth Avionics technicians have the opportunity to grow their careers by gaining new skills and experience, and by taking on supervisory or leadership roles. 4. Job Stability The aviation industry is expected to continue to grow in the future, and as a result, the job outlook for avionics technicians is generally positive. 5. Good Earning Potential Avionics technicians can earn a good salary, particularly with experience and certifications. Cons Physical Demands The work of an avionics technician can be physically demanding, and may require working in confined spaces and at heights. Stressful Environment Avionics technicians may be required to work under pressure and meet tight deadlines, which can be stressful at times. Risk of Injury Avionics technicians may be exposed to hazardous materials and equipment and there is a risk of injury if safety protocols are not followed. Constant learning. The field of avionics is constantly evolving and avionics technicians must stay current with new technologies and advancements in order to be able to perform their job. Shift work. Avionics technicians may have to work evening, night, and weekend shifts, which can disrupt their personal and social life. It's important to note that the pros and cons of being an avionics technician will vary depending on the specific employer and location, but this should give you an idea of the potential benefits and drawbacks of this career. Avionics Technician Interview Questions Here are a few examples of questions that might be asked during a job interview for an avionics technician role, along with some possible answers. Question: Can you tell us about your previous experience working as an avionics technician? Answer. I have, number, years of experience working as an avionics technician in, name of company, industry. During that time, I have gained a strong understanding of electronic systems and have gained experience in troubleshooting and repairing a wide range of systems, including navigation, communication, and flight control systems. Question. What was your most challenging experience as an avionics technician, and how did you handle it? Answer. One of the most challenging experiences I had as an avionics technician was when I was working on a complex flight control system that had malfunctioned. 
I had to troubleshoot the issue and find the root cause, which required a lot of patience and attention to detail. I was able to troubleshoot the problem by reviewing technical manuals, consulting with other team members, and using specialized test equipment. I was able to repair the system and return the aircraft to service. Question: What type of electronic systems are you most familiar with? Answer: I have experience working with a wide range of electronic systems, including navigation, communication, and flight control systems. I have also gained experience working with radar systems, weather systems, and GPS navigation systems. Question: Can you explain your approach to maintaining and troubleshooting electronic systems? Answer: I always begin by reviewing the technical manuals and schematics for the specific system I am working on. I then use specialized test equipment such as oscilloscopes and multimeters to conduct a thorough inspection and test of the system. If I find any issues, I will troubleshoot the problem, consult with other team members, and use my knowledge and experience to determine the best course of action. I am always aware of the safety protocols and regulations and make sure to follow them. Question: Why do you want to work for our company? Answer: I am impressed by the reputation of your company in the aviation industry and the opportunities for growth and advancement that it offers. I am excited about the prospect of working with a team of skilled and experienced professionals, and I believe that my skills and experience align well with the needs of your organization. It's important to note that the questions and answers will vary depending on the specific employer and the position. But these are examples of the types of questions you may be asked and the information that the employer may be looking for in the answers.